So it's a very gloomy day in Tokyo today, but it's fine because all we're gonna do today is talk about YouTube. Hi, my name is Emmy, and welcome to my channel. And today I'll be talking about 12 YouTube channels that are spoken in Spanish and yeah, that I think will help you in your Spanish journey. I'm making this video because I used to look for these kind of videos. I used to look for lists of good YouTubers in Spanish because I had no idea where to start from. And so I thought it'd be a good idea if I could make my own little list. So I divided it into four categories. One, actually trying to help you learn Spanish category. Number two, senpais of life category. Category. Number three, travel. That's a boring name. <laughs> Number three, uh, watch me travel while you're stuck at home category. And number four, for your entertainment categories. I'm gonna obviously link all the channels in the description so you can jump to their channels if it interests you. So we're gonna start with the first category, actually trying to help you learn Spanish category. It's the ones that are targeted for Spanish learners. And I'm gonna be talking about three channels. Number one, dreaming Spanish. This channel is an angel sent by heaven. <laughs> this channel makes videos about literally every topic conceivable. They always talk really slow and they use a lot of visual aids like they draw, they do hand gestures. So it's very easy to follow and you can guess the meaning of a lot of things that you don't understand. And it's good because it has different levels from super beginner all the way to advanced. And just like the sheer amount of videos is very impressive. <laughs> and I know this channel is pretty popular, but there is a reason why well, it's popular. Um, next I want to talk about Spanish After Hours. I love her. I love her. She does things like she reads out stories, she does parodies, she does little vlogs, she does story times and all that kind of stuff. And she speaks very slowly and clearly. She's really sweet, she's really funny. Like she always puts like a weird twist, like parody twist into these vlogs and all that. And I really like that. I like her sense of humor and I love the way she speaks. Like I want to speak Spanish the way she speaks it. Like I want to talk like her. I don't know what it is about her. You know how sometimes you just fall in love with the way somebody talks how somebody speaks and I want to talk like her I want to talk like her so yeah she's really cool the third channel is easy Spanish it does a lot of like asking people on the streets about their opinion on certain topics I mean yeah it's mildly interesting but I do appreciate the fact that they go into different countries so you're exposed to all these different accents okay next category is senpais of life so to me that basically means like channels about like productivity giving life advice or like mindful living and that kind of stuff so hence senpais in life. The first one I want to talk about is Esmisferio Derecho. This channel is about personal development, productivity, motivation, and I really like it because it's all in animation. As a person with a very short attention span, that's great. <laughs> okay, the next channel is Judith Tirar. She makes videos on like meaning of life and life advice, but also on like travel and culture and all these other random topics that she does like a really deep dive into. And her videos are always packed with information. It's really well researched, but you can tell that she puts like so much effort in each of her videos. It's super entertaining. I get tired just thinking of the filming and editing of her videos. But overall, it's very entertaining. It has a great pace and she's great. The next I want to talk about is Iris Roig. I think that's how you pronounce it. And she does videos on productivity, minimalism, personal development, and like life advice, habits, and that kind of stuff. My jam. I love watching those like productivity videos just so I can feel productive while I'm wasting my time on YouTube. You know how it works. I'm not gonna lie. She talks really fast and I don't really understand what she's saying, but I know that her content is right up my lane and I really want to understand her. So she's a YouTuber who I'm like, bitch. <laughs> I'll understand you someday. Okay, the last YouTuber on the category of senpais of life is a channel called Beyond Words. And she does videos on like mindful living, organizing your life, uh, journaling, and all that kind of stuff. I can understand her a little more. She talks a little slower. And yeah, what else do I have to say about her? Um, all I can say is if you're a person who likes like productivity, mindful living, journaling, minimalism, that kind of stuff, Beyond Words and Iris Roig is up your lane. They're your Spanish versions of what you want. <laughs> okay, next category, travel or what did I name it? What did I name it? I forgot. Watch me travel while you're stuck at home category. Okay, so the first one I'm gonna talk about is Jorge de Leon. He is Mexican, I believe, and, and I love his content. I think one of the most famous travel YouTubers is a guy called Alex Por El Mundo, and he's also Mexican, but I like Jorge de Leon better because he feels more, mm, he feels more authentic. Is that the right word? He feels more, like it's a little more slow paced. It's a little more like, it's like a documentary. It's mostly about nature and he goes hiking a lot. I like that it feels more local. Each video is pretty long. I 
I don't think I've ever watched a video until the end, but really has a feeling of he's taking you on the ride with him. It feels like a very genuine pacing and I really like that. Okay, the next guy I wanna talk about is Enrique Alex. He is Spanish. Right now he's doing all these videos about places in Spain, which is really cool. He talks really fast as all of you Spanish people do, but I really love his cinematography. He captures a city in such a beautiful way and I honestly, you know, I don't understand what he's saying. I just love watching the visuals. It's beautiful. I want to go to Spain. I really want to go to all these little cities that he takes you to. It's really cool. Okay, so that's the end with the travel category. Okay, the last category is for your entertainment. And these are just videos that I couldn't think of a category to place them in. Okay, number one is De Construyendo el Cine. Okay. <laughs> Deconstruyendo el cine. It's like an analysis channel. It's a channel where this guy analyzes these architectures in pop culture. I literally have no interest in architecture, but I love analysis videos. Even in English, I would be watching these analysis videos talk about any kind of thing. Even if I'm not super interested in it, I love watching those type of videos. I don't know why. I don't know why. And he does architecture and I couldn't care less if it was just architecture, but he does it with all these like movies, like the architecture in each Star Wars movie, architecture and The Great Gatsby, and I think that he's very entertaining. Okay, the next guy I want to talk about is a guy called Daniel Yescas. He's a Spanish guy and literally on my notes I just put down hot dude because I watch him because he has such a beautiful face. <laughs> He is good for the eye. And I do like his videos as well. <laughs> he does about like adventures and stuff. I like the cinematography. It's very high quality. It's beautiful. But yeah, um, he's beautiful. And that is the primary reason why I watch him. And I don't know if that sounds appealing to you, but if it does, check him out. <laughs> okay, the last YouTube channel YouTuber I want to talk about is, an, how do you pronounce your name? Lalia Benchelez. She is the typical like lifestyle vlogger, influencer type of person. And usually I don't watch that kind of stuff. I find it very boring, but I do find those vlog videos helpful because they use very daily usage vocabulary, but I'm putting her on the list because she's the only one that I do actually watch sometimes, kind of. And I really like how she talks. I think that's why. Um, I really like how she talks. It's very sweet. Yeah, she's the only like lifestyle vlogger that I kind of watch. So if you're into that kind of stuff, I would recommend her channel. Okay, so that was the 12 YouTubers that I wanted to talk about. The one thing I want to say is, why are they all Spanish? <laughs> I think I only have one Mexican guy and all the other ones, except for Easy Spanish, is all located in Spain. I'm supposedly doing Mexican Spanish. So I would love, I would love if you had a channel that you recommend from Latin America, from Mexico if possible, because I don't know that many. And especially if you know people in the categories of like senpais of life or like analysis type of people, I would love to know them. I would love to know them, but please let me know in the comment section. You know what, comment Spanish YouTube channels that you know that you think people would like so we can all just go down to the comment section and share information with each other. It's a small audience, but nonetheless, if you could do that, that would be awesome. Yeah, so um, please let me know down below. And thanks so much for watching till the end. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys again very soon. Bye-bye.